Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are definitely in some tough economic situations here and we need to work on our economy. So there's a couple of locations here. We've got resources from jobs from this from this colony here. Our uh, cosmic storm is definitely having some issues for us here. Planet devastation is working its way up. Now we're building gene clinics here, and we have no jobs available. Like, our primary issue at this moment is we don't have many pops. We have a grand total of 53. So that is definitely noted. We need pop growth on, like, all of our worlds right now. So that is understood. For right now, I'm not sure how much we can actually do in regard to fixing our economy. We can definitely buy in a few consumer goods, which I'm going to do to buy us a little bit of time, but we're going to have to let our worlds expand special project a little complete. bit. We finished up this special project to translate the alien mural, I believe, and that is great. That'll give us some additional research down in Eftrabon once we get that, anyway. So up here, we're building a star base, and down here, we're building a mining station. That's going to build a star base out in Marquez eventually. System survey okay. complete. That seems fine for now. We've got a good amount of influence, and we found a veiled tunnel. Interesting. Okay, so that's down over here. And we made contact with some mysterious aliens, so we're going to assign an envoy to that. There we go. Construction complete. Excellent. Unable to build a starbase in Marquez. This is due to not having enough alloys. So we're just going to move down to Marquez for right now. Research complete. That'll be fine. So afterburners have finished up. Negative effects from cosmic storms on ship defenses. And then there's also this storm relief center here. So negative effects that affect planet production would be removed by 25%. And it allows the planetary decision to hunker down. Okay. I think for the moment we'll take Stormbreaker coding. And that's... Actually, that's going to take a very long time. Maybe we should go for planetary storm negation. That's going to be a lot faster. We're working on eco simulation, which should probably help... Well, this is going to be a 20% increase. It's going to be close to getting this all the way back. But I don't think it's quite... Uh, it might, actually. It might do it. That System might do the trick complete. in terms of our food. So we would need energy credits, and we would need consumer goods still. So that is all understood. We do have enough... Oh, an encounter in Radar Central, huh? Okay. Well, we could definitely assign an envoy to that. Go ahead and do that. And I want to grab Marquez now that we have enough alloys for that. So we're going to do that, and we'll see if we get Velico. We and probably will. And go ahead and research that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so this colony here is lacking a housing. I'm going to put in a city district for now. That'll keep it afloat for the moment. We're going to need to decide what we want this world to be eventually. Research complete. We can see that it has a hyper ecosystem, which will increase the food from farmers and reduce the pop food upkeep. That's probably meaning that we want this to be an agricultural world, would be my guess. So that's definitely something that we want actually that it's definitely going to be that okay let's grab our capacity subsidies and energy grid that'll be a very useful thing as well so that looks good we found an anomaly out over here does that need to be researched it does but we can't do it because it's already performing that order okay sounds good we made some progress on the zeta aliens sounds good construction okay bunker bot huh so we can scrap it for parts, use it to boost our own research, or let it continue in its mysterious calculations. That would gain us a lot of unity, actually. And that's probably the best option here. Let's take it. That will give us access to Starbase Upkeep Reduction or Empire Size Reduction. Now, our Empire Size isn't up all that much right now. You can see that our Technology Cost and Tradition Adoption Cost is up by 6%. So that's not going to be a huge deal. Reducing that is going to be like 1.5%. So for now, I'm going to grab Galactic Ambition to reduce our Starbase upkeep, which would be a significant shift to us in our energy credits here. Because you can see we're spending 22.82 energy credits on our Starbases right now. That is our entire deficit. So this isn't going to get rid of our deficit, but it will certainly improve it. I want to grab this and then head out to Melico, like so. And up into Vander, we certainly want to build mining and research stations. So we'll get those all underway there. 
That looks great. Now, our Corvettes have been upgraded probably with the afterburners here. Yes, that is indeed the case. So this is fine for now. We're eventually going to want to get rid of these deflectors. But for the moment, I think this is probably ideal. I only want to do that when the Corvettes are not the only ship in our fleet. So for now, I'm going to leave that be. And upgrading this seems relatively okay. So we're going to get that going, and we're going to get this going. That's going to be expensive in terms of alloys, and that is definitely understood. Okay, go ahead and research this, and we got another first contact event. Okay, that is proceeding nicely. We also have a leader level up here, and this is going to be our scientist here. So they are currently out surveying. Archaeology, but survey speed sounds good. Anomaly discover chance? Yeah, I like it. And we're going to have them be an explorer. Okay, there's additional leader traits that we can put in here, and we definitely should do that. So this is currently our elder speaker, and I don't really care about the diplomatic weight or cohesion. Pop resource output is interesting for sure, but that's only as a planetary or sector governor. Trust growth or pop upkeep and trade value. That's what we're going to take. Okay, what do we got for our prime forecaster? So we're probably going to end up being a statistician for that sweet, sweet empire-wide research speed. That seems good. This guy is just a scientist, so survey speed is okay. Anomaly discover chance? Yep, that sounds good. And become an explorer. Cool. This guy is just a scientist as well, so we're going to do the same sort of thing here. None, none of these are great. I guess we'll take charisma. That won't actually do anything for us. And we're going to, going to grab ship fire right here. That looks good. We are over our scientist cap. That is absolutely understood. Are we researching this? Yes. Beautiful. So that looks fine for now. We found a new archaeological site. We'll come back to that eventually. And this all seems good. So we're going to be low on our alloys for a while here. And we may need to actually buy in a few, but we're negative on our energy credits, so I don't want to do that right now. Ah, is this Caravaneers? Yeah, that's Caravaneers. Okay, that sounds good. So we're done upgrading our Tsunami now. These guys have increased to partially aware. Sure. And we are about 50% done System with upgrading complete. our Corvettes here. Noted. So we can't build in Velico at this point. That's understood. So this is our border Ships here. Upgraded. I was hoping to grab that, but it didn't end up happening. Sounds good. Okay. So up into Vander, we're still working on this. And in Marquez, we're going to finish this. It's not able to build this starbase, which was expected at this point. So do we want to fill in this up here, or do we want to head down this way? Well, we definitely want to head down this way, because we don't exactly know what our competition over here might look like. If this is the only thing connecting all of this out here, we absolutely want to take this system. That would be huge. And that is kind of how that hyperspace lane looks to be set up. So we'll keep an eye on that, and hopefully that'll end up being the case. We are going to need additional consumer goods. We're waiting for pop growth, and it's slowly happening. We have gene clinics on all of our worlds. So if we check here, we can see we've got some pop growth at 1.43 per month here. And if we check down this way, 5.03 per month, 4.42, 4.07, and 4.36 progress per month. So that is going to be a fair number of pops coming out reasonably quickly, and we definitely need that to be happening. So we're at minus one right now. Did we finish that food technology? No, that's three months away. We're almost definitely going to be positive in food once we finish this. So that is very, very good. Anomaly found. Okay, strange readings. Go ahead and research that. System that sounds good. Complete. And we got a first contact event. They're repulsive, apparently. Hmm. They can't be that bad, surely. So minus 5% happiness because of how repulsive the Shroud Seekers are. Okay, that's kind of wild. So that's fine for now. We are lacking housing on Siagawa, so we'll build a city district here. That seems fine for the moment. Now, we definitely need to build a starbase down here. We're not done into Vander just complete. yet. And I want to grab Jalora for sure. And then maybe head down towards Talon would be the idea. 
That would be a good choke point for sure. Grabbing Hunter would be ideal. I'm not sure how realistic that is, though. So there's Eco Simulation finishing up. And we could grab Gene Crops. I almost said Gene Core, but that's, that's not what that is. Gene Crops and perhaps Planetary Resurfacing would be okay. But I think we'll definitely go for Gene Crops for now. Construction cool. complete. So that looks good. I want to go grab Jalora next. So let's get that underway right now. Beautiful. We're going to have some new influxes of influence soon. And we have boosted up our influence growth. We see that this is a relic complete. world down here. That's interesting. An encounter in harmonious repose. Okay. That is a cloud. Sure. We'll sign an envoy to this eventually, but we have our two envoys currently working on our on our existing first contacts. So that is fine for the moment. Now our construction ship here is idle and we want to build these mining stations. And then we definitely want to be headed down this way. If we can grab this system, that is a very big deal. So we're gonna head to Korea next. Wonderful. We'll fill in these gaps a little later on. We're just in absolute land grab mode right now. We just ran out of consumer goods. That was a mistake. I did not intend to do that. And we are absolutely going to do something about that. So this is going to be a rural world. Specifically, it's going to be food production. And that seems fine. Communications have been established with the Covenant of the Shroud. They so that gets us a bunch of influence. Want to talk to us. What is to be our fate? No, we're not going to pay for this. Goodbye. Okay, so that is absolutely fine for right now. That, of course, means that we can put the... Let's see, where is it? The first contact here going. Beautiful. So our envoy can work on that. Construction Excellent. complete. This is going to be reasonably strong here, right? That is 4.8k. Yeah. Okay, caravaneers. We've talked with the numistic order as well. So that's another good influ influx of influence. I like it. And we're going to finish up Energy Grid. Okay, that's good, but let's grab Astral Harvesting, maybe? Yeah, let's take that. That seems okay. So what is our overall research speed right now? Significantly heavier in physics. Okay, that's understood. So we need to deal with this consumer goods shortage and this energy credit shortage. Both of those need to be dealt with. The energy credits are theoretically easier. And once we're done here in Jalora, built that mining station, I want to move up to complete. Diadem at that point. So we just finished in Weed Baril, and we're going to head down to Coria. Sounds excellent. Okay, so we have a tile blocker issue here. No doubt about that. This could theoretically be an energy production world. This is all tile blockered, but I think that's not a terrible idea. How much would it cost to clear these? That's quite expensive. We could make it happen. Indeed, we could. So these are all just max districts here. So why are these generator districts set to not being a thing? Is this due to dense ruins? This would actually be a good research city, or rather research not city. I'm thinking Imperator right now. This would be a good research world and we could get a lot of this cleared off. So that's an option. This is automatically set over to an agro world, which is what I want it to be. So let's go ahead and set that manually. That sounds good. And then this is intended to be an industrial world. Or more specifically, maybe just a factory world. Let's set that as a factory world. That is going to flip this over to having an extra artisan job, which Research will produce complete. some consumer goods. It won't produce enough, but it'll produce some. And we could then put in another industrial district here, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So that'll be fine for now. This is currently set up as a mining world, and I'm not sure that's what we want it to be ultimately. We're going to need an electrical generation world at some point. And the question is, what point will that be? Well, Storm Relief Center has finished, and we can grab mineral purification plants for an eventual mining world that I'm sure we'll have. Fossils have been discovered on Unoc Prime. Okay, that is indeed curious. Construction complete. 
And we finished up in Jalora. So now we're headed to Diadem. I want to grab this. And we have a bunch of science ships that are idle. They should not be idle. So we're going to send these guys down over this way for now. And we're going to send you up this direction. Over here, we're absolutely going to come survey here. And you are going to come survey here. Okay. So that all looks good for now. The tidal wave has not been fully upgraded. Let's go ahead and get that done. Ships upgraded. That's already done. Beautiful. And we have this first contact event pending here. We're continuing to investigate these guys down over here. It's just a cloud. And that seems fine for now. Okay. We had an encounter in Themisto. So that is where? Down this way. There's a station of some type here. This might be like an artisan troop or something like that. We'll assign an envoy to that. There we go. And we found an abandoned complete. gateway over this way, which is actually that's the Shroud Tunnel. The abandoned gateway's up here. Noted. We had an encounter in Rantor as well. Where's that? Rantor is up here. Once again, this is like the artisan troop or merchant guild or something along those lines. So that's not a big concern at this moment. We only have the two envoys, so we don't have anything else that we can put at that yet. We'll get there. So we still have that consumer goods shortage at this point. That's going System to go away complete. very, very shortly. So that sounds good. And we just finished up out over this way. So let's grab Talon at this point to survey. And our construction ship down here is completed. We'll build in Coria and then move into Freedar. Looks good. So that's fine for now. We have all of this claimed, but we absolutely want to move down to Talon, and we would love to move to Sowau as well. Cut off all of this, but we'll see what that ends up looking like. This actually would get us all of this territory. So that means that in theory, building out here is not actually necessary. As long as we get this system and this system, Which actually means that once we're done with the mining stations in Coria, we should head up to here and push down this direction. That's very interesting. This is a fascinating layout over here. Okay, we made first contact with the Brachium aliens. Or maybe they made first contact with us. Hang on. First contact event pending here. I think we just have a bunch of first contact events that need to go through. That's understood. So we need to grab our mining stations in Diadem. We'll get that done. And we're still at minus 20 energy credits right now. That is definitely a significant issue. So I'm going to sell off some of these minerals here. We're going to sell probably 3,000 or so. And we're going to need to buy in a few more consumer goods as well. So we're going to do that to keep ourselves afloat. We're trying to buy time for this world here. And we're now plus 10 on consumer goods. That's a good sign. And on this agro world, I'm going to put in an agriculture district. And I don't think we have access to anything to boost that right now. So that's understood. I'm going to put in an astro meteorology observatory here. And that will eventually get finished. So that all looks fine Anomaly for now. Found. Go ahead and research this. That'll be okay. And let's check in on our civilian ships. Yeah. So we definitely need to be taking territory Anomaly out found. over here. Research that. That'll be good. And once you're done here, I want you to move up this way. First contact event finished. Okay, so that's the cloud there. That'll gain they us a talk, chunk of influence, to to which us. is absolutely excellent. We're very, very happy about that. So next up, we're going to need to go to here and assign an envoy. There we go. That looks good. And we're going to get this agriculture district on Unoc Prime done soon. Construction complete. Metamorphic dehydration, huh? Okay, so plus four minerals there. That sounds great. And once this finishes up here in about 50 days, we will definitely be able to be positive on our food. Our economy System is turning complete. around. So that looks good. I want to head out this direction. 
so that looks good. And this construction ship is now on its way back this way. I want to queue up this construction right and now. We found. There we go. Go ahead and research that. And, ah, we found the mutagen merchant. Talk. So that and is another bunch of influence. Perfect. And then we've got this one proceeding. And we need to grab this one? No, it's the other one. This one. We need to assign an envoy here. There we go. That is all about getting us large amounts of Anomaly influence found. so that we can grab territory that much faster. So that looks good. We're going to continue to survey out in this area. So once we're done here, I want to survey like so. And then this guy out over here. Yeah, that's intriguing. Anomaly found. Research that. We're going to survey something like this. This is some fascinating hyperlane generation. There's a lot of really solid choke points here. We're going to get a lot of territory. Assuming there's not things that we don't know, <laughs> which there probably is. But agenda that's definitely going to be interesting. We just made first contact with the Beth aliens. Okay. And we will look into that as soon as we get some of these other first contacts finishing up. So that looks good for now. We're having lots and lots of first contacts, which is not necessarily great. And we're going to say that this person can join our cause. Why not? Okay, so we add three insights to the he aliens. 50% breakthrough chance is not bad. We can launch our agenda, and we can set up a new agenda here. Honestly, survey speed is maybe not the worst thing in the world right now. Let's go ahead and chart the unknown. That'll be okay. Beautiful. So keeping an eye on our colonies here. I wish we had more colonies, but here we are. And we'll gain some engineering research. We're negative on our unity right now. Minus 101.2 due to leaders. Uh, we're at six of four scientists. This one is apparently costing us 16.2. So we need to dismiss this leader, actually. Get out of here. We got to have that unity. Okay. So that sounds good for now. And we got this first contact event. Zero. Okay. To to Looks us. good. So that is now finished. And we can proceed this one. But we need to get started on this next Beth aliens. There we go. Cool. So that looks good for now. We need to find out where our borders are going to be, right? Beth aliens are actually currently up fighting these ancient mining drones. System survey complete. And they're not winning. Okay. So they lost against the mining... Or no, they won. System this is the Beth aliens. Complete. Okay. So that is complete. absolutely noted. We have a good choke point here, so I'm not too concerned about heading out this way yet. But we're going to find somebody up over here. And that's not terrible. So that sounds good. System survey this complete. mining world here, we have an available job on. And I said that I wanted this to actually end up being a research world, and that is what this is going to be. So let's go ahead and designate that as a tech world. So that'll be fine. And we'll get that going. So we're only at minus eight energy credits right now. Our economy is definitely in a much better situation at this time. I want to head up this direction, and we can see if this connects out anywhere. Ah, an Arassian cruiser. Okay, situation log definitely updated. look into that. Wonderful. Explosions in the sky. Okay. So that all seems absolutely fine. I want to know more about what we've got going on over here in terms of hyperspace lanes. Curators. Okay. So curators is a very good thing. We'll keep at it with the Beth aliens, but we finished with the curators. So is that these guys? That's Zuricorp. Okay. Where's the curators? Mutagen Merchant Guild? Covenant of the Shroud. There's definitely curators around here somewhere. That's the Covenant of the Shroud as well. That's also the Covenant of the Shroud. Okay, you know what? We can just go in through our contacts. Okay, curator order. And can you aid us in our research? How much do they want for that? 2,000? We can do that. So I want to sell 1,000 minerals here and then purchase this service. 
Then I'm going to come in and sell 250 consumer goods to keep us a bit more afloat, and that looks good. Okay, so now I want to come in and reinforce this fleet. There we go. And our construction ship is going to be building in Niza Taram. There we go. There's a radiant storm detected. I mean, that's a good thing. It will make fleets caught inside visible to anyone who has the storm on their sensors. Our stations will operate much more efficiently under these conditions. Interesting. So that is happening. Is that, that's an electric storm here. I'm not sure where that storm is. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, I'm interested in actually producing an additional construction ship eventually. We'll get there, but it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to see about racing our way down to take over this area down here, because that will that will get us a lot of territory, especially if we can take this and this and this. That will secure a lot, assuming that this hyperspace lane isn't horrific. Uh, let's see. Let's let's kick forward here until these guys jump. I want to know about this hyperspace lane quick. System okay. survey complete. So they've jumped, and that didn't really tell us the information we needed. Unfortunate. We see a Tianki matriarch out over this way. Noted. Mm -hmm. Well, for now, it is time to put that cut in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will continue to expand and get our economy under control. That will definitely be a thing that happens. We should upgrade this to a planetary administration. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge SKL, Kintogen, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.